Today, we are going to create concept maps, approach to a patient with breast lump to get a diagnosis. It is a very common presenting symptom, so it is important to develop some clinical acumen in differentiating various clinical pictures of breast lumps. First, we begin by having a list of possible differential diagnoses in our head for breast lump as the presenting symptom. There are two ways to tackle this, either through the anatomical approach or via the surgical filter. Your homework is to list differentials via the anatomy approach. That means the conditions are classed based on where the pathology lies. Here, we class the diagnosis according to the category that the pathology belongs to. All types of autoimmune diseases can target the mammary glands. Organ-specific diseases, like thyroiditis, or systemic diseases, such as connective tissue disease, like SLE. But here is the common pathology that presents with breast lumps. We use these characteristics to narrow down our differentials of breast lumps. Apart from benign fibrous mammary dysplasia, all other lumps usually present as unilateral lumps. Cysts might present as multiple lumps, but in one breast. Having said that, fibrodenoma, cyst and cancer sometimes present bilaterally. Generally speaking, as abscesses present as painful lumps, but all others are not necessarily painful apart from sensitivity and uncomfortable to touch. Fibrous dysplasia usually has cyclical change. Fibrodenoma can be more sensitive before the period. Cyst can also be large and tender when hormone levels change, but abscess and cancer has no cyclical change. Now we look at the consistency and margin. Cancer lumps are hard in consistency with irregular margin. Fibrodenoma is highly mobile and known as breast mouse. The others are not necessarily in mobile. In terms of fixity, cancer mass can attach to the overlying skin and underlying structure. For the fat necrosis, the skin around the lump may look red, bruised, or occasionally dimpled, and can also cause the nipple to be pulled in. But skin dimpling, nipple alteration, indicate cancer until proven otherwise. Abscess CA and fibrous dysplasia may have discharge. Feel free to pause this video and take a moment to process. For every symptom, there might be the cases that can mimic a less serious diagnosis and lead to missing life-threatening conditions. Mass appearing after trauma may be fat necrosis, but recheck and refer. Even in a young woman with highly mobile lumps, diagnosis is likely to be fibrodenoma. Still, do investigations as unpleasant surprises can occur. In a postmenopausal woman with breast lump, assume as cancer until proven otherwise. It is quite common for a woman to think they can feel a lump while the doctor has difficulty in detecting a lesion. Refer for further investigations rather than delay. What I would like to highlight here is that I do not recommend you to memorize these concept maps. Instead, we hope that through these concept maps, you will learn the process of diagnostic reasoning. Understanding the diagnostic thought process is useful for all those who wish to learn the art of clinical diagnosis. The ability to critically examine a list of differentials, rank them according to likelihood, and pick up what does not fit is very important. Thank you very much for listening. Using these examples, read some symptoms to diagnosis books to create your own one.
¿Ah? 